Hello world, here's PD, your Bitcoin trading info man, and this is your update. This is your Sunday update for Bitcoin. We will check what's going on. We have some interesting stuff. Fractal trading up to 200,000 or down to 34,000. We will speak about this in this update. 10 minutes, interesting minutes, I promise. Let's go with this update. So here is a quick overview as always what's going on with our coins and we can see the most coins are going sideways. The most coins are going down a little bit. Some coins are going up. ADA 1.28% in the plus. Shiba Inu plus 0.1%. Most coins are going down a little bit and if we are looking here on the right side we can see the last seven days are going sideways. And you know it guys if a lot of coins are going sideways this is a uh, a really really nice sign for maybe a big 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 move to the upside or to the downside and we will check in this video 10 minutes what's going on we have extreme fear in the market 21 points you can see it here and we have a lot of nice girls here on the downside all of these girls would like to have a rendezvous with pity but no sorry 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 girls i'm married so no rendezvous with pity let's move on to the next stuff here is the bitcoininvesting.com and what can we see here we can see the candlestick patterns and what can we see a bullish harami on the daily we saw the three outside up a really bullish pattern after this some bearish patterns but we are still in a little uptrend and now we see with a low reliability for a trend reversal a bullish harami okay that's nice that's good that's bullish let's move on here is trading view. This is not so important for the moment. More important is we have a Bitcoin price range in 24 hours. And you can see we are on the lower side of this one. We are here uh, for the moment. Bitcoin price 38,700. The highest price was 39,300. Lowest was 38,400. And yes, you can see we are under the lower half of this side. If you are watching the 52 uh, week range, we can see, yes, of course, uh, the lowest point was 28,900. The all time high 68,700. We are here with a minus about 44% since the all time high on the lowest side of this. The price prediction is telling us from Coin Codex mm, not good. The next seven days we will go down more and more. Maybe next up until next Sunday we will go down to 36,000. We are bearish. We have extreme fear here. The sentiment is bearish. Everything is telling us we should sell. It's not a nice stuff to watch the most guys are talking about a bitcoin crash and we will check now what's going on i showed you here this nice picture on my last video really interesting seven minutes seven minutes please watch this video it was really interesting i showed you here some nice trading phases and the big thing is now can we make a phase number five now and guys if we are watching fractal trading it's telling us we will reach maybe a really nice target to the upside the big question is if bitcoin will crash now a lot of people are speaking about this we may see finishing this m pattern to the downside 10,300 or 13 12,000 something about this to the downside and guys the big question is now if we are in the elliott wave theory one two three four five the big question is now where is wave number five what is the position to the upside how high can we go and i will show you this one with the bars pattern we can copy here this um fractal from the beginning wave number one and we can copy it to this point now for a quick look in the future maybe because it's possible to see a price about 200 210 thousand dollar it's not impossible that this point will be on this side to the upside i know it it's a mad max future um magic glass reading i know it guys but i will show you fractal trading and this is telling us wave number one to the upside is the longest one wave number two a little one to the downside three to the upside is a longer one as the first one four to the downside is not so deep as wave number two and after this it's the biggest wave wave number five and the big question is if we can break out to the upside it's not looking good i'm not telling you we will break out but if we have maybe a nice target about 200,000, yes, first of all, 80,000, I showed you this yesterday, but 200,000 is also possible. So guys, this fractal, what we are fighting for, this phase, what we are fighting for for the moment is the biggest thing to watch now. And now let me show you where is the big thing to watch in this, um, in this phase, what we are for the moment, in this accumulation phase. The big question is, uh on what point should we look here this is the line chart guys and now it is the four hour time frame and on the line chart we can see yes we are going sideways since days here in this price range the price range about 35,000 up to 
44,000, something about this one. This is a big price range, about 9,000 US dollar. And yes, we're going up and down in this nice price range. So big question is now, what do we need to watch? Today is Sunday, maybe bloody Sunday, okay. But we will open the market with Monday tomorrow and maybe we will see a next big reaction. Let me show you. We have here now the resistance line from the highest point here over this point to the downside. It is a red resistance line. This is one of the biggest resistances to watch in the one hour time. And we have also here, if you are watching the line chart, the line to the from the downside to the upside, that's the support. And what can you see? Yes, of course, the support must be a green one. And this is the next triangle in the one hour time frame. For the moment, we are fighting really hard. That's one of the reasons why I made this video, because it's so important now. Can we stay in the triangle or will we lose the triangle? And for the moment, you can see it here. We lost the triangle and we are fighting back again. If we are watching the EMA ribbon band, it's also not so nice because you can see we are fighting with the ribbon band. Ribbon band is a resistance. EMA 200 is also a resistance. So these are the big things now on the one hour time frame on the upside. We need to fight back these resistances. And if we are watching this not with the line chart, let me show you this with the candlestick chart. You can see it better. We saw no confirmed closing candles over the ribbon band. We watch only confirmed closing candles under the ribbon band. So we need to fight back this one if we would like to stay here in the triangle. That's the next big thing now. I hope not that we will lose this triangle with a confirmed closing candle to the downside. For the moment, it's a really hard fight. What else can we see? Today, only 10 minutes, I promised you guys. What else can you see? If we are watching the candlestick chart, we have here uh, a nice parallel channel to the upside, a green one. In my opinion, you know it, guys, parallel channels, as long as we can stay in, perfect. But if we will lose it, we have a really big problem now because this accumulation phase is one of the importance for the moment to watch. And if we are watching back again, back again on the daily time frame, you can see this thing here. Um, we have here to watch, guys, and that's really, really important also to the Fibonacci line because it is the next big resistance if we can, if we can stay in this uptrend. So let me show you 0 0.236 Fibonacci line, 41,400 next big resistance to the upside. If we can break out um, from this triangle, we need to watch this point here. Let me tell you this one with a price marker, 41. 400 really important if we can if we can stay in this one yes if we can stay in this one we have some next targets to the upside also but let me show you this one if we will go down if we will lose this one if we will lose this accumulation phase this red one we have to watch 33,000. this is the lowest low on the on the moment on the short time frame here and we can also make this one here to the downside that's the parallel channel to the downside and in my opinion it's now the big thing can we stay in the green one to the upside or will we break down here from the green one and um, to the downside with the red parallel channel? We could move here with a really, really big move, I think, because we're going sideways since longer time. It's possible to make a bigger move to the upside or a bigger move to the downside, something like this. And that's one of the things in the one hour time frame, what I am watching now, what uh, will make me... Um, what will help me to make the next decision for a long position or um, a short, if you are shorting Bitcoin. Shoulder head shoulder is, is a really nice pattern for the moment on the one hour time frame. It's a bearish pattern. Yes, guys, we know it here. We can see shoulder head shoulder. We can see the trend line. And if we will break this shoulder head shoulder pattern to the downside, we have the technical target to watch. And we can copy this line to the break point where we will break down. And the technical target is here on 34,000. 300. So that's one of the big things now, in my opinion. 41,400 to the upside, 34,300 to the downside. A lot of things to watch. Fibonacci, um, ribbon band, EMA, shoulder head, shoulder pattern, and fractal trading. It. I know it, guys. A lot of things to watch. But this is a quick overview for the Sunday for you that you um, that you know what's going on. Maybe for Monday, maybe for tomorrow what's going on with the day, what's going on with the near future, maybe, or with the long-term future. Okay, guys. So I told you 10 minutes only. That's it. Thanks for watching today. Nothing special. A short update. And I wish you the best of luck. Very important. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. Have a nice time. Greetings. Yours, Bitty. Bye-bye, guys.